Okay, today we're going to be doing um, some cervical spine range of motion testing, um, overpressure and resistive testing, joint play and palpation. So we got Fatty here, to, you know, he's your anatomy teacher and pathophysiology teacher and I'm the most of the time professor of massage therapy for second year and so we're going to start doing active range of motion first. So Fatty, what I'd like you to do is turn your head to the right for me, rotate to the right. Great. And you want to look at the movement the person is doing and see if there's any trick movements or any kind of uh, difficulty in move, moving to the right and to the left for me. Perfect. That's you have more range to the right than the left. Great. Come back to center. And tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Great. And come on back up. And ear to the other side. Great. And now look up to the ceiling. Straight up as far as you can. In extension. Perfect. And down inflection. Great. The whole time you're doing this, you're looking for the person's uh, physiology to change, um, expression of pain or discomfort or irritation, any kind of limited. You can come back up the center now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So you're looking for any kind of those kinds of symptoms, you're looking for uh, patterns of limitation and irritation. So the next thing after the active range of motion, we're going to do overpressure and Fatty's going to lay down the table and I'm going to do some overpressure with the cervical spine. Okay, Fatty, just lay down for me. Okay, so overpressure, we're going to do the same areas, flexion, extension, rotation, and lateral flexion. Okay, Fatty, I'm just going to take you through some ranges here, and I'm going to apply a little bit of overpressure at the end. Three times, any, any discomfort there? No. Nope. Good. And this way, that's okay, a little bit more range there. And we're looking for the end feel, the end feel of the different directions. There's normal end feel, the normal end feel here is tissue stretch. Okay, we're going to rotate, and rotation is also normal end feel is tissue stretch to the right, and, or I should say to the right here, to the left was the other side. Good, and looking for normal tissue stretch, or end feel, and forward hip flexion, for flexion, feeling that, that's all very good. Now Fatty, in order to do extension, I need you to bring your shoulders right off the table, so I can pull your head off the table. A little bit farther up, right there, stop, good. And we're going to take this head into extension and do a little overpressure looking for resi resisted areas and pain and discomfort. That's okay. Great. Mm -hmm. Could you slide on back on the table for me? Great. So the next thing we're going to do after we go through the cervical spine overpressure looking for the type of end feel and discomfort or limitation in those directions or any what we call non-capsular or capsular patterns, we're going to do resisted testing. Resisted testing is for looking for muscle lesions or irritation. Okay, so we're going to do it the same directions again. I'm going to push on Fatty's um, um, side of Fatty's uh, temple here and ask him to um, resist my movement or don't let, me, don't let me move him. Okay, so Fatty, just resist my movement. I'm going to go do this three times for five seconds. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five five and relax. And you're looking for weakness or pain or irritation dur during that uh, sequence. And we're going to go the other directions. Ready? Ready? One, two, three, four, five and relax. And again. One, two, three, four, five and relax. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five and relax. So that's lateral flexion to the right and left we've tested. Now we're going to test rotation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply pressure in this direction and Fatty's going to resist my movement. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And as you're doing this, you should be thinking of the muscles that you're, you're testing. Sternoclavomastoids, I was testing the scalenes when I was doing lateral flexion and the upper trap. So think about the muscles that you're testing as you go through the sequence. And let's do the other side. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, two, three, four, five, and relax, and one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Great, good, so we've done lateral flexion and rotation. Now we're going to do flexion, and what I'm going to have to do is bring Fatty's head up a little bit, and I'm going to say, Fatty, just leave your head right there, um, keep it off the table, and I'm going to just apply a little bit of pressure. Down, we're ready, one, two, three, four, five, and relax, just for a couple seconds, and again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And let your head relax a little bit, and we're going to do it one more time. Hold your head there. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And often, and head come back, coming back down again. Often you'll find many people will start tilting their chin back because the anterior muscles are often weak um, due to head forward posture. 
Okay, and the last one we're going to do is extension. Um, I'm going to lift your head this way. Don't let me move you. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Great. So, so what we've done so far, we've done active movement. Look for trick movements and limitation of pain. We've done overpressure, looking for end field and limitation of movement. We've done resisted, looking for muscle lesions or irritation. Two more areas we have to do. We have to do some joint play testing and we have to do some palpation of the region. So with joint play testing, you can do it two different ways. I can do it in prone or supine. And I think what we're going to do today is I'm going to show it in a prone position. So I'm just going to scoot over here and get this face plate that I've cleaned up for fatty all cleaned up and uh, disinfected. And I'm going to have you come around here. I'm serious, I did. I'm going to have you put your head straight in there, right down there. So what we're going to do here now is I'm going to do some palpation of the, um, of the spinous process of the cervical vertebra. And there's several different movements you can do. You can do uh, thumb pressure directly on the spinous processes. You can do thumb pressure on a 45 degree of the, of the spinous processes. And you can go on either side on the transverse press it, processes and press forward. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little anterior or posterior anterior glide with my thumb on C2, forward pressure. And again, you're looking for um, hypermobility or hypomobility, irritation, discomfort by the client. And I'm going to do a couple vertebra here, anterior, and I'm going to palpate down and do another anterior, posterior, anterior glide. And then from there, I'm going to do a rotation on C5 here. And our rotation is a transverse rotation and doing a, a test there. And this is always uh, taking up the slack in the joint, sustain grade two, taking up the slack. And you can deploy pressure to the joints a couple times for three or four seconds. If the person reacts strongly to the movement, then you're going to stop and you're going to identify the vertebra um, and, and talk to the client about the discomfort, OK? So we've done uh, what's called posterior anterior glide, and we've done a rotation or transverse glide. And we can also do uh, an anterior glide on the, uh, off the side of the laminar groove on the, on the transverse processes, moving forward. Again, looking for hypermobility or discomfort. And that's OK, Fatty? And you can go all the way down to C7 and up to C1 if you choose to. OK, so the last part of this is palpation. Now, palpation can be done intermixed throughout the exam if you feel you need to. But you must remember that you have to finish all testing before you start the treatment and, and to evaluate what's going on with the client. So what you're going to do is you're going to palpate for trigger points or irritation of the upper traps, the mid traps, in through here. You have to palpate that whole region, the traps on the other side. So bilaterally, you want to do the upper traps, mid traps. Um, and you want to also palpate the spinous capitis and cervicus in through the, uh, the suboccipital region. You want to pal palpate this whole area. Okay, I'm going to have Fatty, can I have you turn over on your back again so your head is on the table? I'm going to take this away. And we're going to palpate the uh, scalenes. We'll take a look at the scalenes, palpate through here the scalenes, see if there's any kind of irritation or discomfort through the scalenes and, and the transverse processes of the uh, the vertebra, we can take a look at the sternoclavomastoid for discomfort. Do that bilaterally, always bilaterally. Always doing the unaffected side first, if possible. And the sternoclavomastoid. And you want to also check out um, the pecs in through here and see if there's any pain or discomfort. Looking for myofascial trigger points. You can check out the um, the deltoids as well, but we're going to do that more likely, more of it when we're doing the um, testing of the shoulders. But you want to check out the whole region area for discomfort and looking for myofascial, myofascial trigger point responses and any kind of muscle lesion or discomfort. Okay, and now you can uh, go to Blackboard. I have about, um, 10 or 15 questions for you to answer about Enfield and different muscles for testing. So go there now and we'll talk to you, about, talk to you later.